Good day, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Today is, as you know, another daily dose of your Psalm and Proverbs. Today we are doing Psalm 11 and Proverbs 11. And as a reminder, you know, um, I'm reading out of my parallel Bible of the New King James and the King James. I read out of the King James Version. And as you know, there are many versions of the Bibles, and I'm not saying any of them is the right one or mine is the right one, but, you know, just take the good, you know, from the Bible and just apply them, you know, um, into your daily lives. So here we go. Psalm 11. Faith in the Lord's righteousness. To the chief musician, a Psalm of David. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, his countenance doth behold the upright. Ah, so with Psalm 11, as you know, it's about our Lord. And with the righteous, as you know, if you know you're living, um, you know, as good as you can, as best as you can, um, to stay away from doing evil you know, evil things, wicked things, um, you will definitely be tested and tried, and you will go through a lot of hills and bumps, and it won't be easy. Um, I definitely am <laughs> right there. Um, you know, a lot of hills and trials, and definitely a test of your patience. And um, if you will persevere through these trials, and as you know, you're not alone in doing this. Um, our, our Lord is, think of it as a, I look at it as a way of leveling up spiritually, you know, and you know, <laughs> you know, you got to get this experience, you know, right to level up. So the trials and things that are placed before you, they're to make you stronger and grow, you know, so you're not just stagnant and staying at the same level, you know, and not, not learning and you know growing in him and becoming stronger you know and it's definitely a test of your patience it really is and um because you just wonder why is this happening or you know what what am i going to do you know and um it's a trial it's a test a test of your faith your test of your perseverance a test of you know your patience and it's not going to be easy you know um but while those who just you know do wicked things evil things it seems all easy you know for them but at the end of the day if they don't turn around they're gonna get what's coming you know and the lord doesn't like that it doesn't he loves us all regardless of what do, we do he loves us all it's just what we're doing you know the acts of is what he doesn't like or does like you know, um, if you're doing um, righteous things, he lo loves that. But if you're doing wicked things, he does not love that, you know. And um, none of us are perfect, of course. And we will do foolish things and we'll get into some nonsense and, and we'll mess up, you know. But regardless, he still loves us. But just know that... If you do not learn from those mistakes and, you know, fight to not do them again, uh, it's going to be not easy. It's not going to be good. Um, 
But yes, Psalm 11, that was very short, but our Lord, he, he does not like wickedness. He hates it. The act of, he loves us, but it's the acts of, he either loves or doesn't love, you know. Um, and I know it pains our Lord, especially with all the hatred right now going on around the world. And it's yeah as you know as you know but let's move along to proverbs 11. proverbs 11. a false balance is abomination to the lord but a just weight is his delight when pride cometh then cometh shame but with the lowly is wisdom the integrity of the upright shall guide them but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness delivereth from death the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way but the wicked shall by, fall by his own wickedness the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, in the hope of unjust men perisheth. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his steed. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiced, and when the wicked perish, there is shouting. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. A talebearer revealeth secrets. But he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it. And he that hateth suretyship is sure. A gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retain riches. The merciful man doeth good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. The wicked worketh a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be sure reward. As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. They that are of a froward heart are abomination to the Lord, but such as are upright in their way are his delight. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. The desire of the art of the righteous is only good but the expectation of the wicked is wrath there is that scattereth and yet increaseth and there is that withholdeth more than is meet but it, it tendeth to poverty the liberal soul shall be made fat and he that watereth shall be watered also himself he that withholdeth corn the people shall curse him, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. He that diligently seeketh good procureth favor, but he that seeketh mischief it shall come unto him. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall f flourish as a branch. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart 
The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Behold, the righteous shall be re recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. Ooh, so Proverbs 11. Now, my interpretation of Proverbs 11, well, or it's obvious, right, that um, the thing, just like I believe it was yesterday's too, you know, you reap what you sow, and it's very true. And what goes around comes around, and what you put out there comes right back to you. And it's very true on many levels, you know. I mean, even if you don't believe in our Lord, or you don't believe in, um, I guess, the Bible, or, you know, like heaven and hell, um, at least this, I would think, is a common thing that all of us could agree on. What you put out there will come back to you. Um, and... On, and of course, who hasn't experienced that? You know, you do bad, bad is going to come back to you. If you do good, it will come back to you. And even if right now during these times or your past experience, you know, you've done good and you just feel like even with all the good you've done, nobody does good by you or good things don't happen. Or if your past experience or right now you're doing a whole lot of bad, but you're getting a lot of good. Now, it does sound contradicting, but at the end of the day, prayerfully not in time soon, you know, when it's time for you to leave the earth and leave this fleshly body, it will all come back to you, right? Um, and so it's, it's honestly like a warning. It, it honestly is a warning, um, regardless of your belief, if you believe in our Lord or not, um, if you question or you... Or you uh, um, I don't know how do you say you hate the Lord because you know of him, but you feel as if he doesn't listen. Um, just this Proverbs right here, 11 is a warning to myself also. It's to all of us um, because what we do will come back several fold. Um, foolish ways, wicked ways, evil, committing, you know, sins and um, things that are perverse and everything like that. Nobody is perfect. Of course, as you know, nobody is perfect. But what we can do is fight and don't give up even if you fall. And, you know, you are fighting and you're doing very well. You're doing good and you're not doing any foolishness. You're not getting into anything wicked. You're not doing anything perverse. And you're fighting and then there's that time you fall and you commit something that is foolish or wicked or perverse you have to remember as long as you still draw a breath and you're still here you know that that is a blessing in itself from our Lord and it's another opportunity to right your wrongs and I myself am right there too all of us are right whether you are fighting and want to not do those foolish things, whatever have you, greed things, you know. Um, keep fighting and don't stop. Because as long as you draw this breath, which is our Lord is allowing us to, it's not over. It's not too late. It never is too late. And it's only too late if you know that when your time is up, you know, you're in that moment. And bam, it all hits you at once. You're like, dang, I should have, you know, done this and that. Then you, that's too late. And I, I don't want to be there. Um, whenever I fall, I, I think about that. And I think that, Lord, you know, what am I doing? And you still allow me to breathe. You still allow me to be here. And, you know, to keep working on this. And, of course, no one's perfect because we will fall to temptation. We will fall to... Um, you know, because of our friends and they're doing some nonsense and they invite you to do it or, you know, whatever, whatever it is, drugs, um, alcohol, whatever. OK, regardless, it's never too late to keep fighting, you know, and resist because that's all the enemy does. Right. The devil just keeps attacking, attacking, try to lure you in. 
and to go back to the old lifestyle that you said hey this isn't for me anymore I know it's not right I need to stop and move away from it um, the enemy doesn't stop and and it's very true whether you realize or not and I just know that keep fighting the good fight because you're not alone our Lord is with you he's always with us <laughs> Fighting for us, never stop pursuing us, unrelenting love that does not stop, does not stop. And it's just, you know, it just makes me wonder, it's like, how can, you know, someone love us so much with all the crazy things we do to each other, the foolishness, the wickedness, all this nonsense we get into and all this hatred, but still loves us, you know, loves us so much, you know. He gave his only son to pay our debt and sin and wash us clean. And it doesn't mean because of that you could do all this foolishness. No. Do not abuse it. Do not take advantage because you're going to regret it. And I pray, you know, whoever lends an ear. Um, and I pray that our Lord can use me to put out this awareness and awaken you too. Because it was like with me. I was on YouTube and this video kept popping up and I ignored it. I said, okay, Lord, I will listen. And this laid in her testimony um, and the message that I was meant to receive from it. The Lord used her and awakened me. And now I'm not saying I'm all perfect. I'm no saint. Okay, I still can make mistakes and it still pains me. And I, and I cry out to our Lord and I'm like, I, you know, and, um, but I know uh, I'm still on my spiritual walk and I'm still growing and I'm not perfect. You know, as I said before, nobody's perfect. Okay. And so don't give up. Don't give up no matter what you're going through and whether your friends are trying to entice you to, to old things you used to do that was bad or, you know, gambling, whatever. Resist and fight. And, and don't give up, please. Don't give up. And it's never too late it's not too late until you know and I don't even want to think about that okay so let's just not get to that point where a point of no return and there's no restart okay there's no extra lies there's none of that okay so this Psalms 11 was a reminder of you know of our Lord what he loves and doesn't love you know the righteous he loves and the wicked, he loves them too, but not what they're doing. And Proverbs 11 is a reminder of the punishment and penalties, okay, of the righteous and the wicked. And it's a warning. So I pray you could take these warnings too. And honestly, when, me reading it today was a warning to me also, you know. Um, so please, I pray you could take the good from this and the not good as warnings and <laughs> remind yourself so um with that being said please take care of yourselves be safe out there and and fight don't give up no matter what you're going through as tough as it might be please don't give up don't give up keep fighting the good fight because you're not alone in this so and just remember that until next time, y'all, take care, be safe, you and your loved ones, and don't give up, <laughs> okay? All right, until next time, y'all, take care.